But it's not just suppressing voters in general, it's su suppressing a specific set of voters, and that's outrageous. Hours after a protest in D.C. over concerns with the United States Postal Service, Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton did not mince words about the issue. This is an emergency. The Postal Service, as I speak, is going under. Controversy erupted this week following letters from a Postal Service leader sent to nearly every state, including Virginia, Maryland, and D.C., raising concerns about mail-in ballots possibly not being able to be processed processed in time for Election Day. The issue coming after weeks of mail delays during the pandemic. Norton taking direct aim at Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, also a major Trump donor, putting the blame on him for the recent controversy. He has just gotten there and abruptly we began to see these changes. This of course plays into what Donald Trump wants and he does not want a mail-in vote to work. But not everyone shares the same views. A postal worker sent WSA this statement asking to remain anonymous due to his employment with USPS. The man who works as an electronic technician in the DMV saying, quote, the reports about processing machines being taken out is not new to anyone working at the plants. And adding, quote, the processes being scrutinized are normal and have been for probably the last 20 years. They are fiscally responsible and necessary to remain financially stable. With Congress still debating over billions of dollars in aid for you, USPS, Delegate Norton says help must come soon before things possibly get even worse. We've got to get that money out. I'm worried that they'll run out of money before we can get any bill through the House and Senate. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.